morning everyone. Another great morning, another fibro start to the day. It's been a shock and week actually, I don't know, well who knows, we never know why. How many times do I say that? All the time. But I'm just opening out of the house because it's a nice little fresh breeze. Which I'm hoping will make me feel better. I've just been up putting some, well I was going to put washing on, then I realised it's actually not my washing day and Chris still probably washing today, so I'm leaving it to tomorrow. I got a bit mucked up because I washed the sheets yesterday instead of doing my normal clothes. But I did get that done yesterday in the bed, nice fresh sheets. So I'm feeling really nauseous and dogs running around me. Probably shouldn't be vlogging today, but I don't like to have too many days go between a vlog. So you get one today anyway. <laughs> you get the good, you get the bad with the good, I guess. Um, hopefully it won't last all day and I'll feel better a bit later on. Currently I have a headache, upset stomach and body pains in all my limbs. So not feeling very good, but it's a beautiful day outside today. So hopefully, I, mean, I don't know what the weather, for, I don't know what the forecast is for the day, but if it's sunny later on and I feel up to it, be nice to get out by the pool. I've got a funny pain in my like at the base of my thumb and I I know once one scan I had years ago they said there was early signs of arthritis so I hope it's just a little niggle and it'll go away. I think my knee's the same. I went to actually talk, next time I go to the doctor, which is in like four weeks, she wants to see me back. See you back in a minute. I got the results from my blood test yesterday. Well I got a phone call to call the nurse. I mean, something showed up, but it was just my iron levels. The doctor wants to see me about them in about a month, so they can't be too bad. But I've had a couple of iron infusions, so that's not surprising that my iron would be down. It seems to happen every so often. So I might do another infusion again. Last time it was done in the doctor's place, which was, was good. Um, everything else must have been okay, because there was no other report, so that, that's good. And she did a few, because I reminded her that I've been vegan for three years, so she added a few checks for that, and I still got to have an ultrasound. On my stomach, I'd forgotten about that pelvic ultrasound for the just to double check on the bleeding that I had. Um, the other week, sorry, I'm really I don't know. I don't know whether you vlog these days or not, but um, my vlog is about life with <laughs> my life, <laughs> which is you know ruled a bit by my fibromyalgia, so it's just one of those days. All right, I'm gonna get a cup of tea, go back to the couch. I'm gonna put off doing the dog's breakfast for a bit. Bally's just gone outside. He's the only one I've let out, because it's a bit weird out there. He just sits on the deck, he's just sitting on the deck. He loves to be out in the fresh air. Look, I can show you him. There he is, just sitting there. But the others will go exploring and, you know, still got a few little mud patches. So, oh, I don't know if you noticed then, Behind, I'll show you again. We've got tarp now around the fruit trees to try and get rid of all the onion weed that's in there. Um, Dan was here yesterday doing the weeding and, and doing all that work again. And um, apparently, he, on his research that he's done, he said that that may work. We leave it down for a month or two kill all the onion weed and that would kill the roots I think as well and I guess we'll see and if that doesn't work it will probably have to resort resort to the um like weed killer stuff which we try to avoid using but if we can't get rid of it any other way that will be our last last line of attack all right I have to go up the chin I don't know I sat down to do this because I am yeah a bit of pain. Hmm. Alright, hopefully next time you see me I'll be feeling somewhat better. <laughs> the few things I had to show you guys that I had forgotten to show. This is, I don't know, it was a coconut something or other that Steve mentioned in, well we'll mention in the Q&A. Now you'll have seen the Q&A probably before this. <coughs> oh, 
this is what Dan is making, making and selling at the gardens. And this has actually grown considerably since I put it here on the pantry door. I didn't oh. know where to, oh my gosh, Bailey, just wait a minute. I didn't know where to hang it, but because I don't have a lot of hanging space in the kitchen, but that seems to work quite well and the plant seems to be happy there. All right, Bailey, I'm let, you just went out. And oh, he thinks I'm doing breakfast. I'll come back and do brekkie. I'll come back and do it and then I can sit down and forget about you guys. <laughs> but why we're on a um, showing you things mission. Oh my goodness, my stomach. I'm not sure how to turn the buffet unit lights on, but I'm going to show you. You have to ignore any dust you see in here. These are the glasses that we got from San Francisco. They have just sat in here. Forever. <laughs> so I've got a beta breakers. We've got them from the Sheraton at Fisherman's Wharf. And you can see how big they are. And if I can find it, I'll um, include the photo of me holding it on a honeymoon. I look a little bit younger. Filled with a cocktail. We, yeah, there is a story behind this, and we will tell the story, but we'll wait till we discuss our honeymoon um, when we get around to doing that one. Probably wedding this week. End. And maybe next weekend we'll do honeymoon. We can talk about these glasses then, but just to show you, because I hadn't showed you. <laughs> so they're huge. And obviously we have never used them. We San Francisco was our first stop on our honeymoon, and we managed to transport these all around California and Hawaii and bring them back safely. Why? I do not know. But I guess back in those days, we didn't have a lot of stuff. Kevin has agreed to get rid of some. I think oh my gosh, the ones that don't break anyway of these shot glasses that is collected on cruises. <laughs> and I think he said we can get rid of those hard rock ones as well. So, some progress. <laughs> and he did tell me I can do what I want with them, but I want him to decide because I don't want to hear about it forever that I got rid of them. One time I thought I actually had got rid of them and he was really upset. <laughs> Look, there's more of those hard rock ones there. Um, we don't use them. Maybe we kept one or two would be fine. I don't know. That's up to him. I think I do feel better than before. Still not 100%, so I'm probably not going to do a lot still, but I am up and I have dressed kind of up, I guess. I'm just in a, a very comfortable dress, navy dress. <laughs> it's just really comfortable. It's a little bit tight, so I've got a jacket on, like the a linen shirt over the top. It's a top kind of slash jacket. I'm wearing it, obviously, as a jacket today. Because it's a little bit cooler today. So, which is nice. Although it probably doesn't mean, it probably means no swimming later on. Okay, I'm just putting toasted sandwich on to go for breakfast. I am up in dress as you can see. I do feel a little bit better than I did earlier, but I still don't think I'm going to be doing a lot today, somehow. Let's see, my stomach manages, maybe after breakfast it'll settle down a bit and so I do really want to try and vacuum the one priority job besides getting the groceries and putting them away because the pickup is between one and two. The other thing I really want to do today is vacuum downstairs because quite a few, um, not dust bunnies, but fluff bunnies in our house. <laughs> so it would be good if I could get that done. But if I don't do it today, he can get done tomorrow. If I can't do it tomorrow, Kevin can do it tomorrow. <laughs> so, but I will try and get that done today because that would be good to be able to tick that off the list. But yeah, we'll see. Um, the pool guy's here at the moment cleaning the pool. I think I'm going to put, even if I don't go for a swim, because I don't know it's going to be warm enough for that. I think, what says it? It's 21. I don't think it's 21 though. It feels cooler than that. The breeze is a bit fresh today. But I might put Coda in for a swim, because Keen and I went for a walk this morning, but Christy didn't take Keen and I as well. He actually was quite good. He sort of watched for him, but he wasn't too upset about it, so that was good. Um, I just wasn't up to doing it today, obviously. Um, but I might better put him in the pool and have, have a swim and then he can get his exercise that way, which would be good. So, yeah, I brought down my wedding album to try and do some um, scans of that so that we can, I can put them in the video when we discuss our wedding memories. <laughs> what ones we have this weekend, tomorrow, tomorrow. I don't know when Kevin and I will film that. We'll try. Maybe we'll try every day, I guess. It'll be probably the best thing to do, try tomorrow. Doesn't happen tomorrow, can have the next day and then we've got three days to... <laughs> <laughs> Three days of options to get that filmed. Anyway, I'll go and check on my breakfast, make a cup of tea, and yeah, see how I feel after eating. 
back here again with my crybabies to get groceries. Just got the call that groceries are ready, so that's good. They're a bit early, so it's just on 12 now. <laughs> oh, Coda Bear. I think when I put their harnesses on, they always think they're going to the park, but they aren't. Anyway, got a bit of rain on the way down, and I tell you, I haven't seen so many masks in the street ever in Australia. They are compulsory inside at the Queen Shopping Centres, but I was surprised to see quite a few people wearing their masks even out in the street. So, just shows once they sort of give permission, I guess, for people to wear them, encourage people to wear them, people are wearing them even when they don't have to wear them. Okay, I am feeling a bit better, but I am being a bad blogger. I've been doing stuff and not filming it for you guys. So, quick rundown. I got home. I've unpacked. I think I unpacked all the groceries. There's a little bit of fruit there still to come out of one of the bags. I've cut up potatoes, put them on to cook for my lunch. Just an air fryer, so I've got some wedges. Got the dog's food going. I didn't need vegetables, so I had to wait to groceries to get the vegetables for them. I just threw in a half a bag of frozen veggies. I've got vegetables to chop up for them later on. And I've just been sorting out the um, food waste. I've got a pineapple that I thought was still good, but I don't think it is, so I'm going to throw that out. It is a few weeks old. It feels a bit soft at the end, so I don't think it's any good. Um, and we had some corn. I bought four corn cobs. I think only last week, and they were tasteless. They just were nothing, so. The other two out, I've got some more this like this week. Hopefully this lot, week's lot is better. And then I've just grabbed all the plastic that was under the sink and put that to put in the garage. We might have to do a we might do a coals trip on the weekend to get a few bits and pieces. Oh, I don't know, there was something I particularly wanted to get in coals. I just stuck it in the bin. I need to do it in Australia. Who um, like a nice vegan ice cream. I tried these, really, really good. I usually have the Magnums, but these coconut acai berry connoisseur dark chocolate ones, really, I really enjoyed them. But I think I must have got them from Coles because we'll also sell them. So I might get some more. Then. <laughs> and we like to get the fresh wraps at Coles as well. So there's a few things Coles sell that we can't get at Woolworths. So I might go there on the weekend. Well, I might not. I'm trying to think of anything else I need to get. I was so excited when I was doing my order this morning. Yeah, this morning. They had butter lettuce on the, that you could order. But of course, <laughs> I thought, oh, just in case, I'll put down to the sub with the other lettuce, which we usually get, which is the oak leaf. Yeah. The oak leaf. But of course, yep, it was oak leaf. So sad. I was so excited to finally find butter lettuce when I haven't seen it for probably a year. But it means they probably sell it in Wollongong, and we often used to get, we used to always get butter lettuce in Wollongong. I must deem that Wollongong still more important <laughs> than my local one. Anyway, I've got a few bits and I've got lots of fruit and vegetables. That was the main part of the shop, as it always is. And yeah, everything's put away anyway, so that's good. And yeah, and I was just sitting playing on, on the floor with Coda's ball machine for him for a little bit because Christy picked up a little tennis ball and showed it to him and he got all excited and she didn't, I said, well, you should play with him now and she didn't want to. So I've just been doing that with him. So he's happy now, he's having a rest because it's just over there in the kitchen area now. He goes and sits in front of it, which is kind of good because we do use it more for him. He still hasn't worked out how to put it in, the ball in there yet, but hopefully we'll pick it up one day. <laughs> if anyone's got one of those machines or knows how to teach a dog to do that. I did try having food rewards, but he gets more excited about the ball than he does about the food, so I don't know. I'll just keep working. Working with him every so often. Um, I had a little bit of cheese last time, but I don't know if he gets it. I don't know, he must know where it goes in. It's not a silly part, but anyway, so I'm going to make up some sauce to have my potatoes. Have a rest. I just want to vacuum because of the fluff on the floor. I was sitting on the floor and you can see all the the fluff everywhere. Terrible. But, and then I'll try and get my fruit, the vegetables and fruit washed and dealt with and then that's all done as well. I'm thinking I might do a stir fry tonight with those TVP beef strips as Kevin really likes that so. And we've got some vegetables so that one will probably be nice and nice and healthy as well. I've had my lunch which I very much enjoyed and I've decided to work on the 2002 family video. 
which is, you know, a little blast from the past. But a whole lot of it had, like, really static and noise. So I've had to put music over. This is Athena's birthday. Oh, thank you, Amy. Um, yeah, it looks like it continues. I don't know how long that continues. Oh, my gosh. That time it goes all that way through there. Come on, static and noise. I think you're like... I don't think that's the original. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, I might have to try and work out another copy of this video. Because it looks like it's. I'm sure the ones are easier, Tasha. It's not back there. It's not there then. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder why. I'll go and check the original video and see if that's got, got it on. A bit of rain come through. And now it's sunny out there. We can see the deck's wet. Isn't that a funny day? It's sunny afternoon, maybe. It's really weird. Like, we don't usually get these summer storms like this. And I did say we're going to get them this year. Great changes with um, climate change. <laughs> well, when I checked the original files, the sound is, is good. So I'm downloading them all again onto my desktop and then I'll upload again onto Final Cut Pro and hopefully the sound will be good again. It only goes up to Easter, apparently after Easter. The next clip is in September. Apparently our video camera died at Easter and then we had months without a video camera. So <laughs> at least I know why, because of vlogging, but I didn't have a video camera for that time. I am still going on this puzzle. <laughs> It's been a very challenging one, but I've still enjoyed it, so that's good. So I've got a bit through here to do and all the sky, which I might try and do that now because that's probably going to be the least enjoyable, so I might try and work on that for a bit, see where I'll get on and then move down here and see if I can match any more pieces. Well, I've got that puzzle finished. Unfortunately, there are four pieces missing <laughs> down in this section. They kind of sometimes they stick to my elbows when I'm like leaning on the puzzle and they fall off my elbow and then the puppies eat them. I think that's what happens. Because I caught up eating a puzzle piece the other day. So they do eat cardboard. So currently in biomed is just cardboard. No, I don't know what Rosie is still alive to dinner time that one. Anyway, I enjoyed that, but I am kind of glad to be finished that one. It was yeah, it was quite a I guess make it so busy and just, yeah, that was hard. <laughs> and it's actually not quite as big as some of the puzzles take up more of the space. I think the pieces must be a little bit smaller than some. And now I'll get to pick another puzzle to start with tomorrow. This is a beautiful summer's afternoon we're having. A beautiful blue sky. <laughs> it's actually quite cool. I just closed the house up. Doggies are having their dinner now. I'm going to chop up the vegetables for our stir fry and get it started and put the rice on. I'm just making our dinner using my new utensils, which so far are working out very well. Um, Kevin always likes pineapple in these sort of things, so I've got pineapple and I'm just using hoisin and garlic sauce. It's going to be a while because I've got to put the um, rice on earlier, so it's got 10 minutes to go and then depressurize. Luckily, we're only having white rice, I guess. So hopefully it won't be too long. So Kevin decided it'd be a good idea to have a spa. And it was a good idea. We haven't been in for ages. There was two puppies here, but they just went away. Pop pops. There's one. <laughs> okay, let's just see. They were just visiting. Your little bear. Oh, I had to go get his ball. Hello. You're a good boy. And the sun's out again now, it's been crazy. The half an hour was raining, half an hour ago it was raining. The dogs were, two of the dogs got all wet out in the rain. And now it's sunny again. Kind of. Sunny one area, but it's still grey looking out there. 